Hi, it's Hal from Light Photographic Workshops. As many of you know, Adobe recently released the public beta of Lightroom 5. Now, I consider this to be an evolution of the features and functionality that we already had inside of Lightroom 4. When you look at what is new, I don't think you'll find that there's any one thing that's truly earth-shattering. It's not so monumental it's going to change how you do your entire workflow. But when we put the Lightroom 5 upgrade features and functionality into context, that is, in, in terms of our workflow, I, I think that the upgrade is going to make you more effective and more efficient. And for me, that, that's hugely important. So I'd like to take just a few minutes and talk with you about some of the upgrade features that I find to be my favorites. And, and I consider a favorite feature something that I find myself going to and using more than other stuff that's included in that, in that big list that Adobe provides. Now, over the last couple of months, the major upgrade feature that I've found that really works and helps me out in terms of effectiveness and efficiency is the Advanced Healing Brush update to spot removal. When I look at an image like this, I like what I have here, but up in the sky, there, there's some serious issues. I've got spots, I've got lines, I've got blemishes, and I need to retouch these out. Inside of Lightroom, I know I can do that by going over here to Spot Removal. Inside of Lightroom 5, you'll find that nothing has really changed with the interface. I can still choose Clone or Heal, and then determine a size and opacity. Now, some of these retouches here are going to be really easy using legacy functionality. And the legacy functionality of Lightroom 4 is I had what was called a circle spot. To do that, I would just choose Clone or Heal. I'll leave it at Heal. Size my brush to be just bigger than the spot. And oh, by the way, I like using the left and right bracket keys to make that brush smaller or larger. And then click onto the spot. I define the destination, that is right on top of the spot, and Lightroom automatically picks a source so that it can make the retouch. If I want to make another, relatively simple. Click, verify that, yep, the source works. Click, verify the source works, and I can move around an image relatively quickly, removing anything that was relatively small and, regu re and regularly shaped. The legacy functionality, though, did give me a couple little headaches if I had something that wasn't a little bitty spot, but instead was a line or a shape, something not easily covered with a basic circle. Now, the advanced Lightroom users amongst you know that you could go in and, and you would combine your circle spots and finally take care of a shape or a line. But with Lightroom 5, we don't need to do that anymore. Instead, I have now what is called a brush spot. To use that, the exact same workflow. I choose Clone or Heal size the brush and opacity, and then position yourself at the edge of what it is that you'd like to retouch. And I'm going to do this, this little linear blemish right here. To use it, click and hold. So I'm not clicking and releasing like I would with a circle spot. Instead, click and hold, and now I can draw out with this white paint, and I put the white paint over anything that I want to heal or clone. Now, the functionality right now is the white paint. I'll bet by the time we get to a release version of Lightroom 5, that changes a little bit. But as of right now, we put white paint over everything that we want to clone or heal, release the mouse, and Lightroom picks a source that is the same size and shape and takes care of the healing or cloning. All in all, that's pretty cool. Now, just like with the circles, if Lightroom did not pick a source that works, we could grab hold of that control pin and move this someplace different until we get the effect we're looking for in the original area. To show that one more time, I'm going to drag up to another little line, resize my brush, I click and hold and just paint with white paint over anything that I would like to retouch. All in all, it works really well. Compared with lining up multiple spots or really what most people did was at this point of the workflow, they would just go over and launch into Photoshop or Photoshop Elements to use some of the different retouch options we had in that other program. Now, I don't have to do that anymore. I can use the brush spot and keep everything here inside of Lightroom. Now, there's a lot of other functionality that goes along with this in terms of some, some keyboard shortcuts that enable the brush spots or the circle spots to do something just a little bit different. I'll take you through those relatively quickly, and then I'll list all the keyboard shortcuts on the blog. So if I have something like this, 
it's a relatively straight line, and I could easily paint right up this. But if you've used Photoshop before, you know there's a way, there's a way to make a diagonal line that's relatively easy. I now have that available inside of Lightroom as well. To do this, just click once at one end of the line, and we get basic circle spot function. To turn this into a brush spot, go to the opposite end of the line, hold down your shift key, that's both Mac and Windows, hold down shift, click, and we see that turn into a straight diagonal brush spot. If you want to make that brush spot straight but horizontal or vertical, hold down shift first, and then I have horizontal. If I click shift again and go vertical, now I've got vertical. So I can do a straight line using the shift key functionality, or if I don't want to make something straight, you don't have to touch anything and just brush in exactly what you're looking for. Within the circle spots, you do have a couple of other options here. By default, we know that if I click, Lightroom will automatically choose my source. If I don't want to do that, if I know what source I want automatically, before you click, hold down the Control key on Windows, the Command key on a Mac, so I'm holding down Control here, click and drag, and now I am automatically moving around my circle so that I can get the appropriate source. Pretty cool. Two other things, just so you've seen them. If I hold down Shift and Control on Windows or Shift and Command on the Mac, I can drag out that circle from a center point or from a specific point and then drag the circle any place in relation to that point. Last one, I hold down Control and Alt at the same time on Windows. That's Command and Option on the Mac. I click, that allows me to draw an expanding circle from the center. That way I could place my cursor right in the center and just resize this way as opposed to using those left or right bracket keys. Once again, that was Control Alt on Windows or Command Option on the Mac. Click and drag and I get a specific circle expanding from the center of a spot. All in all, I think the updates to the spot removal are awesome. Being able to use the brush, pretty cool. Now with all of that said, there is a even cooler upgrade to this tool. And to show this, I'm going to go over and hit reset. I'm going to get rid of all of the spots. One of the things you're going to notice down in your toolbar is that we have an option to visualize spots. And what this does is if I click onto visualize spots, my image is replaced by a black and white line drawing that is based on the contrast of the image. Now spots, especially when they're relatively light and they're up in a, a light gray sky or something maybe out in a bright, bright blue sky, they're difficult to see. But there is contrast there. So there are a lot of techniques to go through and find them before. But if I use the Visualize Spots option, then I can see that Lightroom has built for me this mask in effect that shows all of the contrast and it really highlights any type of blemishes that are up in the sky. This is a tremendous tool when you're looking for those little bitty insidious dust spots that are hard to find. Now I can make this more or less uh, choosy or specific for contrast by taking my slider right here next to visualize spots, move it to the left, or move it to the right, and I can have Lightroom show me more or less of the contrast in those basic low contrast areas of the image. Now, if you want a keyboard shortcut for this, it is the letter A. Okay? So A allows me to visualize spots. I toggle it on and off, and it just shows me a nice little representation of contrast in the image. I have found this to be the coolest thing in the spot removal update. Brush is cool, it is, I love these brush spots, but having a tool to go in and try and find dust spots in the image is awesome because the number one thing that I have a problem with when printing and many other folks do as well is that one lone dust spot that you missed right at the middle of your 24 by 36 inch print, you gotta go back and do it over. So all in all, the spot removal is greatly improved inside of Lightroom 5, not only in the ability to recognize your spots by using the Visualize Spots option, but then also to go in and whether I'm using just a basic circle or the brush spot, I've got some pretty cool functionality inside of this upgrade. I hope you'll enjoy it. I'm interested to see if Adobe replaces that, that white paint with something else, but as of right now, this is my, my favorite new feature inside of Lightroom 5.